All right. Um, this is going to be a 10 minute version of uh, um, arterial line insertion via the radial artery. Um, so I'm going to go super, super fast. Um, what we do is we utilize a sterile technique here. So here is our equipment. We have a sterile gown, four sterile towels. You can choose to have a drape. We choose four sterile towels. We've got a boat of four by fours, a tachyderm with a microbial patch in the middle. Chloroprep or chlorhexidine, sterile gloves. Securement device is the stat lock. And the foam tape, I'm going to show you in a second, this will come in handy. The aero system that we use here is an all in one. It houses the guide wire, the sheath, and the needle all in one. This is a pretty slick little deal. And I'm going to show you how that works here in just a sec. Like I said, we're cruising on time. I don't want this to drag on forever for you. Um, the most critical thing in acquiring um, an arterial line is the position of the arm. You want the anterior portion of the, surf, the, uh, the surface in which you're going to poke to be most anterior. What I mean by that is oftentimes when we uh, uh, acquire arterial blood or we sample it, the patient's arm is off to the side. Well, actually, so is the vessel. You want to get this thumb pad up in the air a little bit. We utilize this towel. Um, this is a, a great tool to have, and what this will do is we'll keep this arm not too hyperextended, and that way we can position it into shape. Now, we've performed the Allen's test to ensure good collateral flow. Now we're gonna use this foam tape to secure the arm. And we're cruising along here. Let's put that underneath there, in between the thumb. Roll it over. That is not going anywhere. Now we can go ahead and grab our chloral prep. We pop it. We want to start at the insertion site, going slow in little circles, larger circles, larger circles, and there. We want to create a clean area about like this. Okay? Now we have that. Let's go ahead and start opening our sterile towels, because what this will do, it will create an area for me to drop things into. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I'm opening this arrow. Drop this in, away from you. Open the boat for my fours. Do this with the tachyderm. Close. We're going to just keep from the side. And then the securement device. Um, some facilities will suture in. Um, we use a stat lock. So we'll pretend like I'm opening this. This is going to drop in there. Now, <clears throat> arm is fixed, clean. All of my things are here. And we're going to go to the sterile gown. The way this is packaged should be inside out. So you'll grab it, let it fall to the floor. And your arm holds. You utilize this equipment over and over for training, so it's been used a few times. What you'll do is you'll have your partner behind you that will help secure your gown for you. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. traffic and people walking by, so. I won't go into how to put sterile gloves on. I would say that if, um, 
that is an issue for you, then we have a few steps we got to work on before you get to this this point. Okay. Fully sterile. You grab us a towel. Doesn't matter where you start, but basically what we're going to do is lock this area. So what you want to do whenever you're, when you're drawing this, as soon as you start to get blood returning into this tube, you want to give it a little extra bump in further. That ensures that the white sheath is in the vessel before you run the guide wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our angle here. This is a pretty good size sheath and needle, so we go just underneath the skin and we're going to advance a little bit. All right, now you see that blood? We got blood return there. Give it a little bump in a little bit further. It's still filling. Run the guide wire in. Now this is, this is crucial. Grab this white sheath and spin it as you push just the white sheath in, just like that. You have to spin it because it has to get through the wall of the artery. And then pull this out. Oh yeah. We got a bleeder. I'm gonna do a little cleanup. And then at this point, it's our stat lock. And this is a hard lesson. If you let this sheath go like this, it's going to kink and it won't function, you won't be able to pull blood out of it, it won't read, it won't do a thing. So once you get this point, hold it in place. So the stat lock, how's our time, friend? Good? 7.30. Okay, stat lock will snap on here. This is pretty slick, just like that. Good there. Take it in. I'm going to just put over the insertion site. It goes something like this. You get the idea since this is kind of used. And then we're securing the line around the thumb and then secure to the arm. Um, then calibrate your line, you're ready to go. And that is the radial artery um, arterial line insertion.